what's up YouTube Houston here and for those of you just finding my YouTube channel welcome please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell and for those of you that's been following me and supporting me salute and for my faithful patrons double salute now today's video we're actually going to be talking about upstart upstart is a bad credit or I would say a subprime lender okay and they really don't focus on the personal score they focus on other metrics or data points to help you get qualified for loans so that being said today we're talking about how to get twenty five thousand dollars and upstart personal loan with no credit check now the reason you may be trying to raise twenty five thousand you may be trying to pay some bills or you may be trying to just buy uh buy into like a tax lien or trying to do some basic uh real estate uh fixer up or something like that or you may just may be trying to invest in cryptocurrency the market's hot right now so a lot of people are trying to get access to money to do that or you just may be trying to buy a car to to put on uh ride share uh platforms like toro but whatever the reason this is what we're doing in terms of how to help you get it get a personal loan through upstart now upstart personal loans here's the situation all right if you don't have credit you can get approved if you don't have credit you can get approved so if you don't if you have bad credit again you still can get approved their average credit scores that people have been approved for is between a 620 to 660 however that does not disqualify you if you're an individual with bad credit and i'll explain that to you in a minute now the minimum income gross you have to have is at least twelve thousand dollars annually all right so if you have a full-time job or you may be driving for uber lyft doordash or instacart and stuff like that or you may be on retirement receiving annuities social security or something you still may qualify for a personal loan through upstart okay so don't trip off the credit score they mainly focus on your dti your debt to income ratio and your income all right now their loan amounts go anywhere from a thousand up to fifty thousand now here's some of the data metrics that they actually look at your college education your job history and how long you've been at their residence okay that's how they mainly focus on helping you qualify if you have bad credit so those other metrics is what they're actually using how long you had your uh, personal bank account so they pull in all of this data to see what they can do to help qualify you for a personal loan all right so having a your personal bank account and a, a email okay that's also very important having a valid email now again they do a soft pull they don't do a hard pull on your credit so when they're doing a soft pull they may be checking like uh, clarity which is owned by Experian, data x which is owned by equifax or they may be uh checking a factor trust which is owned by transunion now the good part about them they're they're in all 50 states okay and so everything is uh in reference to proof of income as long as they know you have a job and stuff sometimes they may check but most of the time uh they go off of what you put on the application now here's something that you can do to boost your credit score if you have a low credit score and that's what you're worried about because there's other loans that i'm going to show you as well other than this upstart loan but if you're trying to boost your credit score to get like credit cards and stuff like that then here's a couple of things that you can do that can boost your credit score from 25 to 100 points so you have grow credit and you have perch so these are subscription based type of companies so if you have netflix hulu spotify apple then those type of subscription base you may have a gym membership or something like that if it's a subscription base they will report it to the credit bureaus also with perch they will report up to six months of rent so if you're paying rent and not getting credit for it they'll actually pay a uh, report up to six months of rent to the credit bureaus as well now another way for you to actually um build your credit up is through a pledge loan or a credit builder loan and again i'm going to take you more in debt of some of these um 
subprime lenders that can help you get a loan with challenging credit. Now, you can add authorized users. Then also, the extra debit credit card. They have the extra credit, extra credit card, and they also have one financial. Both of those companies, if you use your debit card a lot, then both of those companies will report your debit card transactions to the credit bureau. Okay, so that's one of the things that they actually will do to help you build up your credit. Then, of course, you have Boom Pay and Rental Karma. Now, with Boom Pay and Rental Karma, Boom Pay states that they can report up to 24 months of rental uh, history on your credit file. Okay, now here's the reason why you want the rental history on your credit file, especially if you're an individual that's looking to try to get qualified for a mortgage. So, what happens is that with the new FHA guidelines and stuff, you can use your rental history to help you qualify. Also, uh, with Grow Credit as well as uh, Perch, like your utilities, if that's not giving you uh, credit and stuff like that, you can have your utilities reported on your credit file as well to help build up your credit score. All right. Now, here's another company, and I like this company because they do. Also, just like Upstart, they have a high rate of approval as well, and it's universal credit. Now, their average credit score is a 560, where with universal, with uh, excuse me, with Upstart, you actually have to have, you, you don't have to have any credit, right? But here, you have to have at least a 560. Now, the average credit score for them is a 638. However, that doesn't mean you have to have a 638, but, but again, because they going off of other data points as well. So now the minimum income is 60,000. That's a hint for you guys that are trying to go to universal credit to get funding. That's a hint. That doesn't mean you have to be making 60,000, but the average is 60,000, okay? Now their loan amounts as well go from 1,000 up to 50,000. And their minimum number of accounts that you have to have on the credit file is at least two accounts so those trade lines I just told you about those the type of trade lines will help you get qualified for a loan like this like I said even if you have bad credit you still possibly will get approved for a loan with universal credit because they do look at other data points now if you're a person that has a a lot of credit card debt or you in high debt and stuff like that the good thing about universal credit they work with people that have a 75% DTI, debt to income ratio. So that means that you may have some credit cards that are maxed out, but you still have an income and stuff. So it may be possible for them to be able to give you a loan as well. And they do a soft pull, so you don't have to worry about the hard inquiry on the credit. Now, I made a video, okay? Excuse me, I, I forgot to change that title, but one main financial, I guess I did it for a few of them, but one main financial, I made a video, and again, soft pull, you must have to ha have a bank account. Um, their loans go anywhere from 1500 to 20000 and they do charge origination fees. However, if you want to understand more about the one main financial, put a comment below to ask me to send that video over to you. Now. Here's another lender, Opportune Personal Loans, okay? Now, here's the thing about it that's unfortunate is because they don't operate in all 50 states. They operate, like, more or less in the Midwest and stuff like that. But the thing about it, if you can get approved with them, they don't worry about your credit score or credit history, all right? Now, you can have better credits or whatever, but again, they're using different data metrics as well. So, like if you're a new customer, your loan can go anywhere from 300 to 6,000. And then if you're returning, it goes from 6,000 to 10,000. So, again, a soft credit check. So, they're not checking on your credit. They're not putting a hard pull on your credit. And the minimum income you need for them is $500. Now, upgrade. Upgrade is similar to, um, it's not, not Upstart, but the other lender I was just talking about. You have to excuse me. I've been talking all day, guys. But with Upgrade, again, 560 credit score. Average credit score is a 678. 
all right but again because if you follow my strategy with adding those trade lines first to boost up the credit score you shouldn't have any problem with worrying about your credit okay now their loans go anywhere from 500 to five to fifty thousand now their annual their average income is about seventy eight thousand that's another hint for you guys that doesn't mean you have to be making seventy eight thousand but that's their average income okay you have to have at least two trade lines on your personal credit now they again they doing a soft pull on the credit so that's one of the things you have to uh know about them that is not going to be a hard inquiry now their debt to income ratio again is 75 percent so if you're a person that has a lot of debt okay but you have a good income this may be one of those companies because they look at other data metrics okay now unfortunately with this situation they're not available in colorado idaho new york vermont virginia wisconsin and wyoming however those other lenders is definitely as 50 all 50 states that can possibly help you all right